Good evening from the Feyenoord Stadium in Rotterdam for the European Cup Winners' Cup final between Manchester United and Barcelona. The weather conditions, pretty awful. But no one's complaining, it's just great to see English football represented in a major European final for the first time in six years. For the United fans in excellent spirits and in good voice with their new theme song, Always Look on the Bright Side of Life. And Dennis, appropriate that, isn't it? Tonight of all nights. Well, it's an awful night, but it's a great night for English football. Let's hope it's an even greater night for Manchester United. You'll be able to see it live right after the break here on ITV. Welcome back to the final Stadium in Rotterdam. We're just five minutes away from the start of the 1991 European Cup Winners' Cup Final. Awaiting the teams to take to the pitch. Well, for the past six years, occasions such as these haven't really mattered to English football. Well, we've missed them all right, but they've missed us too. 15,000 Manchester United fans with tickets have made their way over by train and boat and plane. And they're helping to provide a really splendid atmosphere here in the Feyenoord Stadium. And just listen to the noise as Manchester United and Barcelona take to the field. A typical Catalan scene, and there are the United supporters at the other end. We've got firecrackers, we've had wind, we've had rain here in Rotterdam today, but all that doesn't matter now. What matters is the final of the European Cup Winners' Cup. United really have been splendid ambassadors in pioneering the return of English clubs into Europe, but for the first time on their travels this season, they meet a team of genuine European pedigree in Barcelona. This really is the big time, and where better to be than in Rotterdam? It was here that Everton became the last club to win a European trophy. That was the Cummers' Cup in 1985. Two weeks after a marvellous and trouble-free occasion, violence erupted in the Heysel Stadium and English football was sent into exile. And it was here in Rotterdam where it all started in 1963. Needless to say, it was the Cup Winners' Cup again. Spurs with two out of five goals from a young Jimmy Greaves. And Spurs becoming the first English side to win a European trophy. 28 years ago in this very same stadium, Danny Blanchflower lifting the trophy on an historic night. Jim, this stadium has been very kind to English clubs in the past. It has indeed, Elton. In fact, it's, it looks younger than what I do. I've aged more than the stadium. But it has been very kind. We won our first ever British trophy here, and I do feel that we can go on and win another one tonight. I'm really happy and confident for Manchester United. Certainly, Dennis, if United are to win tonight, they're going to have to play a lot better than they did at Wembley against Sheffield Wednesday, or they'll be murdered. That's the feeling here. That is for definite. They will uh, have to play better. And I think that uh, with them having three key players out, I think this is United's best chance to beat Barcelona tonight. But they'll have to play well to do it. The final of the 1991 European Cup Winners' Cup, an English team in the final for the first time for six years. Let's join Brian Moore. Thanks a lot, Elton, and let us first uh, check on the two teams. Manchester United first. Well, manager Alex Ferguson had only one major decision to make after it became clear that Les Seeley would be fit for the first time since that Umbelow final injury, and Gary Pallister had also shaken off injury. Uh, it was in the midfield where Neil Webb has lost out. Mike Phelan is on the right side of midfield. Paul Ince joining Brian Robson at centre midfield. Barcelona, already missing goalkeeper Zubi Zareta and midfield man Amor, both suspended. Today gave up the fight to get their leading striker Stoichkov fit. The Bulgarian's got a thigh strain that keeps him out. But there's real quality here, not least from the Dutchman Kerman, from the Dane Laudrup, and the player they're calling the best youngster in Spain, the number seven, Goe Kachia. Well, the referee today comes from Sweden, Bo Carlson, a 41-year-old bank official. He speaks Swedish, of course and English too, and German, but apparently not Spanish. The substitutes, five names, uh, two of course can play. No surprises in the United selection at all. And just as the referee is about to blow the whistle, the skies open up again. It's been a really wet day here in Holland, 
Uh, the rain had relented for the last hour or so, but it's uh, back with a vengeance now. And uh, it's a big night, and could be a difficult night for goalkeepers. Here's Les Seeley, the first time he's played in the United first team since that accident in the Rumbelows final against Sheffield Wednesday at Wembley. There's that left knee very heavily swollen. It was gashed almost to the bone, you may remember. He had four stitches in it there and then, five days in hospital, and uh, he's back and he says, I'm fit to have a go in the biggest night of my life. So Manchester United and their manager, Alex Ferguson. Actually, it was on a, a very similar night to this in 1983 in terrible rain in Gothenburg when Alex last won the Cup Winners' Cup uh, when he was with Aberdeen and then again against the Spanish side, Real Madrid. Let's hope that that's an omen. United then on the trail of their first victory in a final in European competition since that European Cup final of fond memory, 1968 against Benfica at Wembley. 23 years later then, this United side, led by Brian Robson, stepping out to write, they hope, a glorious new chapter in the club's history. Appropriate, too, that uh, Sir Matt Busby, the architect of that 1968 win, is here tonight, now aged 82. Saw him today looking as cheerful and as gentle as ever. United coming slightly as underdogs here tonight. Barcelona wearing the blue strip get the European Cup Winners' Cup final underway, Manchester United in a strip of all white.